make this table a slight there so the status will have will not be overlap now and here it will scroll down under the status bar so I think it's perfectly fine I guess for the time so here you, you, have you seen uh, here this is a, there's a shadow which basically differentiate between the two controllers here so in order to hide or show the shadow go to app delegate and write controller set shadow yes or uh, maybe no so when again sorry 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 that's not the right controller set enable no 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 no, no. it's not like that I guess it's I think I just need to go to git again to reject basically uh, here you, you you can make a here's a menu slide animation you can enable or disable it you know and yeah dot shadow setting level. okay so it's like kind of animation uh, sorry go to app earlier the shadow set enabled no so when I write this no and make it run again you'll see no shadow here so no distinguish part here so you can play with shadows or you can so depends and there are four options you know you can uh, Enable disable shadow. You can set the radius of the shadow, make any color, and set the opacity. And also the slide animation. If you write this piece of code, set a menu slide animation enabled, yes, then it's okay. You will be able to slide, it means you will be able to drag from left to right. But if you say it's no, or you can make a set pan no, then I think it will not light just check it out set fan mode now I'm gonna run it and no nothing nothing draggable and when I remove it make it run again yeah here I here so these depends on on the various options now moving further what we need to do so we need to make some other controllers so that when you click on first a new controller will open and this this particular thing gets closed so let, let's do it let's do it uh, this is basically our website just just making a group of that Sorry. Left side controller. And this is basically the table view cell. Table cells. Perfectly fine. Okay. Now I need to make new controller, new classes. Let's say it's it's called the first view controller. So I need to take a new new con new controller. This is the first view controller. And uh, just take a label here. Uh, okay, just just uh, make it on embedded with the nav controller. Yeah, perfectly fine. And first, I'm gonna name it as first nav VC. So we have these buttons 
I'm going to make a bar button on here, which will indicate it's left on here. And basically, I'm just going to make this bar button as an ad button. Oh, perfectly valid. So yeah, and I'm going to make the actions of these buttons left button click and similarly for the add button add button click make sure make it as action okay okay so in this left button first of all just import MF side menu and in this left button you can just write the same piece of code for opening with the side menu controller one start the left side compilation now oh, and add uh, we will make a new control we will push it and now it shows it that now going back to our left side menu controller we need to make a new delegate for table view and that is did select row at index path so if better to use a switch in case if there are many but you can use if because I just have two so import the first view controller here and make an object of first view controller okay I need to make an object of storyboard too I'm just going to copy it from there and I'm going to make it in our left side menu controller just to make it at the top okay and storyboard instantiate view controller with identify and identify same as the name of the controller okay what I'm gonna do is when the first button is clicked first cell is clicked on the left side pane what you need to do is we need to just close that uh, container oh I need to import the MF side menu here too so first we need to Uh, oh, close. What was that? I need to see it again. Uh, it was set menu state. Okay, set menu state now. So it will basically close the left side controller and it will open the new controller and how it will open the new controller will make the self dot menu set central controller as the first we see first we see HTML. I think it will work perfect let us see okay here we go we can left we can on first oh I guess oh sorry <laughs> I haven't written anything here if index path dot row double equals to zero okay here we go first we see I guess Oh, I'm so sorry. It will just open the first view controller. We need what we have done here in storyboard. We have made a nav controller. We have made a nav controller which is connected to this first view controller. So, what we need to do, we need to open this nav controller on the click of this. So, just replacing some piece of code. I'm so sorry. Uh, navigation controller here, uh, nav here. It's now fixed. 
it will now perfectly open. There we go. I think it, it works great. Nothing has been coded here, so I think it will not work. So, what you do? Set to menu, slide animation. I think I did in one of my project here because I just want that it slides very smoothly. And how to do that? I think we need to use this. Let us see. Yeah. Perfect. So in place of the first line which I've written set menu enable, write this set menu state MF site menu state closed and completion can be nil. Or you can you can write any piece of what you want. So here we go. First it's not working I guess. I know why it's not working. Basically we are just making the central controller below and then we should close and now it will work yeah perfect here we go so I think you won't be able to distinguish between those so we need to make a new controller let's make a new controller as the second view controller Okay, and just make just take a new view controller from here. Okay, and sorry, sorry about that. Just make it second, 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 and take a label on it just in order to identify second. And move it on again back to side left side view controller. Just import second view controller. Just trying to copy paste it. Second view controller. Second view controller. Make it as secondary C and just copy paste it. Second, we see. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to build it, run it again. So here is our main VC, and we click on first. It's the first VC where we have put a left and a plus button, and here we go and it's a second we need a second so we haven't put any any button here so in order to go back just drag again and go to first so in this way we can make different sliding menu applications and uh, uh, make you know our app looks very good because these are you know something very handy and uh, nowadays these kind of apps are made uh, many apps are made by using these kind of menus the so left side menu so you can use the mf side menu if you want to make your application look good and you can play with it you can see various other functions here on this uh, using the shadow the slide animation enable disabled you can listen for many events panning modes etc so what i did is the basic setup of the project I hope you learned something from this and it's very easy to implement it. Thank you so much guys.